Take a quick look at this suggest question regarding the loop of Henley. You might get a question asking about a desert mouse or a kangaroo rat or anything uh, to do with an animal that lives in a hot, dry place and suggest how this animal's loop of Henley would differ from ours in relation to its body size. Well, any animal that lives within dry and hot conditions would have a longer loop of Henley in comparison to their body size. Now the reason for that is because because we get active transport of Na plus and Cl minus out at the top of the ascending limb and we get facilitated diffusion of Na plus and Cl minus out of the bottom of the descending limb, it means that I get a decrease in the water potential as I go down the medulla, as I go further down the medulla. Therefore, more water is reabsorbed from the collecting duct and the descending limb back into the bloodstream for these animals that live in the dry, hot conditions. The longer the loop of Henley, the more this water potential will decrease as I go down the medulla and the more water will be reabsorbed. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best.